everyone and welcome. My name is Helen. This is the Shrimpy McGee channel. I thought I would do a voiceover style uh, video today. I did a thing. I splurged on these Korean beauty products from a company called MichaelaBeauty.com. It's an online company based here in Canada, but also available through the United States. So if you see any of these products and you are in the US, you are welcome to buy them. Here is Vanilla's Clean It Zero Original, which I've heard so many good things about. It. I really wanted to get my hands on. This is a brush. I'm gonna show you what this is later. I am stuck at home. If you're listening to this in the future, this is the time of the coronavirus lockdown, I guess I'm gonna call it, self-isolation, quarantine, whatever you wanna call it. And I bought all of these products to um, just treat myself a little bit, you know, I've been home for a long time. This is a three-step Biore style nose clearing um, strips. These are these so cute masks. I actually have not used these yet, even as of this taping. I just love the packaging so much and they were relatively affordable. They were a few dollars each. This is a sample I got from Michaela Beauty. They're so sweet, they always include samples in every order of more Korean beauty products that you can get hooked on once you try these. This is a shampoo. I've never tried any Korean shampoo before and I still haven't tried that one yet. Looking forward to that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much what I purchased. All these items here cost me $75 Canadian free shipping because I was over the threshold for free shipping. And I was just super hyped to get these things and try them out for myself and just treat myself because I have all this extra time now to do these things that I kind of don't normally get to do, um, including some deep exfoliation. That's what this product here is for. This is like a wine sort of gauze peeling, almost like a little tiny, well, you'll see what they are. They're almost like, I don't even know how to describe them. They're gauze and you rub them. They've got little pockets, you stick your finger in there. And here is the vanilla clean at zero. I have some more thoughts about this product. I did not like it. I was actually super disappointed and this is like a holy grail product for like so many people in the K-beauty community. I was just shocked how little I liked it. If you want to see my thoughts on that, you can just skip forward a bit. The first thing I'm going to crack open here in my bathroom, and I'm sorry for the kind of not great lighting. It's nighttime outside as you can see. I'm smelling this brush. I don't know why. I smell everything. I'm quite sensitive to smell in that some smells just turn me off. And if it turns me off, like good luck. I just basically will not like a product and you'll come to see that's sort of my main issue with the Vanilla Co Clean It Zero Original Balm. So here I am, this is it. I'm super hyped though at this moment because I haven't opened it yet. So I'm gonna open it soon. It comes in this really cool holographic box. They've just repackaged and I don't think they reformulated but they changed the packaging. And I think that there are like a lot of dupes and um, what sort I'm looking for, counterfeits. So they go really the extra mile here to make sure that you're getting the correct boot. I dropped something, I think the spatula. They go the extra mile. So this is the lid for it. This is the spatula. You hang on to these two things because you, you need them in theory. I'll tell you why in a second. Here's the sort of anti-counterfeit packaging that they give you and you can scan it. It's all in Korean. Of course, I cannot read any of it, um, but basically you scan it to double check that you didn't get a counterfeit product. I guess this is a real thing. This is not a super high-end product. I paid $25 Canadian for it. Maybe it's a little less in US dollars, probably a lot less if you purchased it in Korea, like with the Canadian exchange rate, but it's an imported product, so it's gonna be a little more expensive. That's fine. So you dig this out with a spatula, and I've yet to try it at this point. And so you use the spatula, obviously, to keep the inside clean. Here's a little lid. This is what you do. You put the lid on top after you use it. I have actually since thrown out the lid in the spatula because I just don't find them necessary. They're just picky little things that kind of just drive me nuts. I have used cleansing balms before and I don't feel like it made a big difference when I used the spatula and when I didn't in terms of like introducing germs, so to speak, into it. Um, here I am rubbing it all in and people, my number one issue with this is partly how it works. It's okay. You know, I have one from, or I had one that I ran out of from the creme shop that was maybe, I've spent maybe $7 or $8 on it. Uh, and it works just as good, if not better. It was the one in black. I think it was the charcoal one. It's okay. You know, this one is just okay, but oh, I do not like the smell. It smells to me like hairspray, really strong hairspray. It is not floral. It is just this strong, almost alcoholic smell and I'm so disappointed and now I'm kind of stuck with this product because I'm not going to return it. It wasn't that high dollar of a value. 
we're in the time of like coronavirus. There are so much bigger issues in the world right now than me and my cleansing balm. So I'm just gonna use it. Maybe I'll use it the days that I'm in the shower so that after the shower, the smell won't be so long, so strong. It doesn't linger on and on, especially because after I use it, I use this product, so I do a double wash. And yeah, you'll see here, like my eye makeup is still on and I felt that even with the inexpensive creme shop one that I bought at Winners slash Marshalls for like seven, whatever it was that I spent, was under 10 bucks, it cleaned my eye makeup off a lot. So I just like wiped it off a bit with that cloth as you saw, um, which is not ideal. I like all my makeup to be dissolved after you've washed your skin twice. So I'm moving on to exfoliating now. This stuff smells really nice. It smells like um, like grape juice a little bit, like the kind you drink, like Welch's grape juice kind of a vibe. This is called Neogen's Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Wine. And they had, I think, a lemon scent as well, I can't remember. And I'm using this side. The more exfoliating side, oddly enough, this quilted side that I've got on my face, is actually gentler. It's gentler. The other side I find actually to be much rougher because this is a dual sided thing. I'm just gonna use it on my hands. I had some extra. I felt this worked quite well and just sloughing off that dead skin. Uh, the price on this was $22. So I'm just using it on my hands because I have hella dry hands right now. If you guys are anything like me, your hands are dry too because we've been wash, wash, washing our hands like crazy anytime I come from the outdoors just multiple times a day, I'm washing my hands. And so now I'm moving on to these nose strips that are sort of like Biore, and the reason I purchased this Etude House Three Step Clear Nose Kit is that it costs two dollars and eighty cents, which is only about eighty cents more than buying like Biore, like a pack of six Biore. But I don't need a pack of six Biore because I only do this maybe once or twice a year because I have postmenopausal skin, and um, I just don't get that many blackheads. But enough to you know take them out once a year, twice a year kind of thing. The first step though is a mask. So this is just a mask to open the pores, which I've never used before. And I just want to say about this Etude House product, it smells so nice. Everything in this package make me smell make me make me smell like a fancy lady and that is like fancy lady is my favorite fragrance of all time which can encompass a variety of fragrances but it just smells so luxurious and so i'm just leaving this on according to the directions and now i'm poking into this part two of this because it's a three-step thing this is the biore style strip and it does have some little perforations to sort of adhere to your nose a bit better and so i'm going to put this on very shortly I really love this little nose mask though. It smelled so good. And I just used the extra serum to just pat into my face because it just smelled lovely. And I'm making that face because I just really like the, the fragrance associated with it. Um, even though I sort of love unscented products once in a while, if it smells really nice, I like it. Okay, going on with this quite wet skin. You know, if your skin is not wet enough, what I tend to do to really make these adhere well, I'm gonna do it right now, is add some water. So I just splash some extra water on there. Um, which is what I'm doing here and I pat 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 try and get it to conform well to the ridges of my nose And then I just wipe away the excess water with the towel. So here I am changed into my pajamas That's why I'm wearing a different top now. I had a bath let it just dry up really good It actually took me about 30 minutes to get it quite dry I tap on it to make sure that you get a tapping dry sound Then you know it's ready to peel off peeled it off and I'm looking what did I get did I get anything great? No, I didn't I'm not gonna show it to you guys didn't get anything fantastic out of it, but we all know that that's the most impressive and slash disgusting part of doing this. Uh, it didn't work as well as Biore. The actual nose pore was not as good as a Biore strip. Just putting it out there for you guys, but it had all these other nice luxurious steps with it. So I think I would buy this product again. And this stuff, this third part, which is a mask to, I guess, close the pores, is so slippery, it kept slipping down my nose. Definitely you wanna lie down if you're gonna be putting this one on had some beautiful smelling serum. This had a slightly different fragrance, but once again, evokes Fancy Lady, my favorite, my fave fragrance of all time. Uh, I'm, I'm really struggling though, because it's totally wanting to slip down my nose and I'm totally wanting to make this video. It had this weird glossy fake face sort of look that I kind of liked, but I could not get it to stay on. I, here I am putting in the extra serum or whatever you want to call that, into my skin, the extra skincare product, because it is a skincare product, so you can just rub it into the rest of your face if you like it, which I really do here. My hack to get this to stay in place was just to use a bit of the gauze that it was adhered to, so I'm just putting it on there to help stick it onto my face while I make this, and I'm just reading this now, the step three, to see what, what other directions were there. Did I put it on wrong? Is that why I'm slipping? No, I am not. It's just slippery, like I said, lie down if you don't want this to fall down your face. But all in all, 
I really liked it. This was, I think, my favorite product of them. And I really did like the Neogen um, Bio Peel Gauze in the Peeling Wine. Um, that, that Those little pads, there's like 30 of them in there, I think. So that'll last me a number of months, probably half a year or so. You know, none of these products in and of themselves is super expensive. You know, over the $20 mark is kind of getting there, but they weren't like close to 30. They were closer to 20. So I'll take that. And, you know, it felt good to support a local-ish Canadian business, small business, you know, um, MichaelaBeauty.com. I will put a link if you guys want to check them out. They do really great stuff. This is not sponsored. This is not an ad. I paid for all of this with my own money, but I just wanted to give them some love because I think Sephora and big companies like that will do okay. It's these smaller places that I want to support. I was not a fan of the Vanilla Co Clean It Zero Original. I would not suggest purchasing that if you don't like strong smells and you don't like the smell of hairspray, if you, that doesn't bother you, then go ahead. It works adequately well. And uh, that's all. Yeah, I loved all the other stuff. I haven't tried the sheet masks yet. Hopefully those are good too. Hoping you all are keeping well and staying safe. And I'm going to pretty much wrap it up there. Remember to like and subscribe. Love you guys all so much. Hope you're keeping well, staying safe. Drop me a note in the comments. Love to hear from you. And that's all. Bye, everyone.